Okay, so today we have another storm system and I guess this is about seven or eight years later or, or nine years later. You can probably hear the generators in the background right now and I normally go ahead and hook up my suicide cord um, that you'll see in one of my older videos that I have listed in the description. But over the time, over time, I went ahead and bought some other devices to kind of upgrade that system. So this time, I'm going to go straight into the box, and we'll start off with some 6.3 Romex, and that's here. We'll get a shot of that up close a little bit. We'll have a 50 amp breaker here, and this is um, the Square D brand for uh, what my box is set up for. We have the receptacle for it, and obviously we have our generator right here. Um, it supposedly puts out 1200 watts, but I think it puts out, I mean, excuse me, 12,000 watts. Or, um, but I think it's gonna put out about 8,000 watts on hybrid. So getting a little bit of rain right now, so it all, it makes more sense to do it. I don't think we're gonna, going to be coming back online anytime within the next two days so it probably helps if I get this hooked up today now the difference between this one is that in when I had it hooked up previously we were actually hooked into 120 and we we're just only running the 120 um, appliances or devices now we still won't be turning on a 240 but we're just gonna turn it on just because so with that this piece goes into the, this box and this piece here goes into the generator. The Romex, one, one end is going to go here and the other end is going to go here. It's really uh, that simple. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna wire these things up and, and we're gonna see how it, it works out. All right, so I've already Desheathed these, or stripped, um, stripped off the coating, and I noticed that I didn't put too much on there about, you know, basically the width of my index. So I used the width of about the width, the width of my, my index. Um, um, well, that was a little bit more, and that was there. So we're gonna go in here and push it, push it on through. So there's a little rubber grommet here and, we, and I've already cut it up just in case you buy this same box and you say, well, how did you get it through there? I just slid it in the middle across those X's and now they'll just go in here. Pretty easily. Fish them up through here. Now, what we'll do, I'm going to put my, my red and my X. And that's right here. So I'm gonna put the red and the X, we put the black and the Y. And let's see if we feed this black first. <laughs> All right, so we were able to get it on there, secure and everything. I had to do a lot of um, coaxing and convincing the witness, but we, we got what we needed. All right, so here we are. Now, we'll go ahead and secure this on on here. I've already um, opened it up. I'm gonna put the red on the left and black on the right. Pushing it up through the loop. So we'll go ahead and push it up through the loop. that one. Let's push the black on through. 
bend that white out the way. Mm. Better chew, I better try to black, put the black in first. I don't know why it's kind of short and short over there. Let's put the black in first. Squeeze it on down. And come back through and put the red in. So I'm trying to do this for the camera but I had to turn it towards me. In order to make it work like we need it to work. Go ahead and screw those down again. see what happens so I'm gonna run this up against our neutral bar after I kind of strip this down and we're gonna run this to our neutral bar and we'll, we'll go from there all right okay hideous I know that's because I'm in the process of putting this Emporia um, box on here um, been kind of test driving that for a few months works really nice if you want to see a video on that um, put it in the comments so anyway this one piece here um, again temporary setup is hanging hanging out the box here and we put our 50 amp breaker in there we have already tested it it works fine but keep in mind that this is not going to be what we use. We're going to use our batteries like we did in the um, other video. And again, you'll see that in the description. We have it plugged in here. So that connector is secured on and it goes on pretty cool. We have our generator. here that put everything out lovely we have our propane tank hooked up to it and just in case you guys think I'm um, kidding that it works um, I probably Alright, so we had it, um, I know if it sounded funny, we, we didn't turn off the choke just then, but just letting you know it, it works and the house doesn't blow up. We've tested the lights and everything. We now have 240 volts available to us, so now we can power the AC, we can power the water heater, we can power the stove, even though we just use our gas grill on the, on the back. And any other 240 volt appliance that we have, the dryer, and that, that, those are only 240 volt appliances. So we have it access, accessible. Now, the coolest part about this setup is now we have enough voltage to pass through the house and what what happened on the 120 when i was plugging it in with the suicide plug it actually there were some things that didn't power because you just didn't have enough voltage on um, pushing the amps through the house so some things just said you know what i'm not getting enough so i'm not powering up 
So we had to be judicious about what we turned on in the house. We're still going to do that. But the only difference is we know that um, there are, there'll be a lot of things powered. So in the meantime, we're going to use our um, battery station All right, you heard me talk about our portable power station. So we have our fridge hooked up. And this is what we're doing. We're using 134 watts from the fridge um, intermittently. We, oh, I forgot, we probably need to hook up the freezer too. And as you can see, we're at 78% right now. We also use it to power the microwave when that's needed. And we also have another one here by another company, Dapson, and you know, kind of just ready, ready to go. And this one's supposed to have 2,400. Um, so it's ready. Another cool thing that we have here are these lights from Amazon. They're really, really bright and cool. So we can use that in the middle of the night and it runs for about three or four hours. Finally, we have our anchor here, our anchor brand. And we're at 99 on that one as well. Now, this is the, the big one that I'll actually hook up to the house. Notice that this one has a 30 amp plug on. I may end up making a video on making that 30 amp plug and seeing how much we can push through the house. So it's 30 amp, 120 volts. So, so it's not spectacular, but it's pretty cool. So the other thing that we have, I think you've seen in other videos, are our solar panels. Now, they were leaned up against the shed and they need to be um, rewired now because they blew over in the storm. But we still have enough juice in here. And I probably should be hooking that up right now instead of just running my mouth. So, I, at max, I have about 10 kilowatts out here right now. So we're at 70 per 73, 73% on one bank, one five kilowatt bank. And we're at 66% on the other bank. I really need to turn this solar back on and get it fixed so we can take advantage of the sun that's come out now. But the, the trick is the generator is supposed to serve as a backup only. And if we can get it to work as such, we can use uh, less noise around the house because we don't care that much for noise. You can hear the neighbor in the background, he'll be running his all day um and yes that's okay but what we want to do oh there's a tree over there it's the type of storm we had today quite a few trees um a put down here while this truck looks like a junker truck what happened is i took the hood and I unscrewed the hood as I was working on the engine and left it out in the wind lifted lifted it right off now you come over here you can see this pine it just got uprooted and the video is not going to do it justice. There's another tree that got uprooted. One just got snapped in half over there. There's a water oak that was relatively young, but check out the root network on that water oak. 
it was um they don't go deep but they go super wide um what you're looking at right now is about one uh probably about 15 feet wide on on that base and that's that's pretty wide you have other trees that this happened in this one single storm uh, neighbor's house got crushed over there a little bit well not crushed it, it got nipped on the roof nothing real bad they they dodged one take a look at this hole here this hole is about two to three feet um, and look at look at that if you can see up in there you can see where the wood just broke over that's that's just some that's some powerful wind I don't know what we're gonna do about that I don't know if I'm, that's on our side or not um, all these fallen trees are the lot next to us that's remaining undeveloped because they wanted a buffer there but hopefully we can talk them into at least getting these trees out and just making it a um, little sanctuary spot there maybe put up some fences and I'd even be willing to cut the yard in order to not have these trees fall in the other direction um, they had a lot to do we were a little bit more blessed this morning um, this is the rest of that lot. It's just crazy. You can probably hear the generator in the background. And that's the neighbor's generator right there. So, that's it. If um, you picked up in on, on anything on here, you know, um, leave a comment, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. It's okay. I'm just here trying to share some things.